I feel it. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Oh, don't, aren't you supposed to say welcome to another episode? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I was just trying to get Welcome him. to my life. I, <laughs> I, I was just getting him to kiss you. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> okay, wait. Welcome to another episode on our channel. We're going to show you a few things about resin printing, that sort of thing, continuing on with our after our first couple of episodes on it. Yeah, uh, last time we went sure. through on uh, discuss how to choose a model, some of the criteria. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and he needs to choose something for you guys today that I want to see. So I am choosing Grogu. A happy wife is a happy life. <laughs> Words to live by, gentlemen and ladies. <sighs> All right, so, so we're okay. going to, the picture is in front of you, so actually you can see it. And it's the cutest thing. I mean, it's Grogu with a butterfly on one of his hands. And uh, I, I think in, in his little, you know, I call it a baby buggy, but whatever it is, whatever you call it, okay. it it's cute. Okay. So it's a free download. Free. Uh, royalty CG free. CG Trader. CG Trader. Yeah. Not Traitor. Trader. Right. All right. So I just now yeah, download button. We, did did you hit the download button? I hit the download button and you have to wait 20 seconds. So we will fast forward for you guys so you don't have to sit here and listen to us. For How the do you next, know it's downloading? Because it says wait three, two, <laughs> one, zero, and we have liftoff. Okay. That's how you know. Okay. So, it tells oh, you. Good. It is pre-supported. Ooh. Which means okay, there's a difference between 3D print ready mm -hmm. and pre supported. Pre supported, okay, that's where the scaffolding, right? Yeah, pre supported. They, I, I never look for pre supported models. Mm. Uh, the ones that I have seen that sort of come with models that I buy, they never get it right. Ever. Oh, one of the benefits of having. One. So it's pre supported. Uh huh. That's good. And it's probably no, pre supported I... well. No. If it is, I will. Hallelujah. I will let, I will zoom in on this artist's name. But. but there. What percentage of things that you download are pre-supported nicely? Zero. Okay. Never have I ever. Okay. okay. So how do you know where it went? It Well, it went to my desktop because that's the way I have my... Downloads? Yeah, downloads set up. And I went through, took mm -hmm. the liberty, mm -hmm. and cleaned out my entire desktop. Ooh, I need to do that. So what do we have here? So we'll go with the 50% one because this old MacBook Pro struggles okay. a lot. But 50% isn't as good as 100%. In terms of printing, correct. So but they are exactly, they, they are likely exactly the same, except one is scaled much larger than, than the other. Oh, so if you wanted more than a, uh, like a one six scale or something like that. Oh, you can, they just scaled them for you. So if it's a hundred percent, that's for larger? Yeah. Larger thing. Oh, that's, that's the larger model. Okay. So, so what are the sizes? Do you know by, uh, by looking what the sizes what, let's, are? Let's, let's go in to, uh. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I'm let's, learning. Gonna, I'm learning with you guys. I okay? can find it. Where'd it go? Cheetah box. Where are you? There's some junk on here. Ah, oh, there it is. Cheetah box. Oh, we're I thought you were looking for a cheetah. No, cheat two box. This is the free version of cheetah box. Uh, it's actually, there are countless good tutorials on how to set up cheetah box. Uh, there's a lot of variables that go into it. And you hear the cat in the background, ignore him. Um, I was but, just looking at his shirt. Oh, 
Yeah, it, this is the city. Not the Bears. No, I, sp I spent a year in West Suburbs. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So anyway, getting back to the... Uh, of course. Of course. Okay. okay. So like, there, I won't go into how, how to set up Cheetah Box, but bottom line that you set it up for the printer that you have, and then there's another setting, setting for the resin that you have. Um, the printer that you have, those settings are pretty much won't change, but the, the resin, the settings that correspond to the resins that you have or that you use. So if you have, because you mentioned tough and hard before. Right, those would be so, two different so settings. So two different resins, two different settings. And... Resins, multiple resins within the same manufacturer will have different settings. Okay. 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 So... Oh, uh, oh, the settings, do they do they tell you on the resin bottle what the settings are? No. Okay. You've got to go to their website. Every every resin manufacturer Maker. I've ever used uh, has a spreadsheet okay. on their website. Uh -huh. And you go down and look for your printer. Then you go across and you look uh, for the resin. Okay. And then that tells you what your settings what should be. What your settings should be. And they, they are multiple oh so uh, so then you would make any setting adjustments here exactly settings. okay so okay. look these are these are all the variables that you have to deal with and each one of these variables is is on the spreadsheet oh okay so this this so is typical just, this, this is, is typical, typical what you would see exactly and you just you just fill in the numbers just fill in the blanks you see look at the spreadsheet on their website exactly. for their resin uh -huh. okay okay yep so that's okay. that's the name of that team. Okay, um, got it. Got it. Good. Um, okay, so let's open up Grogu. Grogu, and we go Where'd to go? desktop over there. Yeah. Okay, Grogu. We'll go fifty percent because this old computer will not handle it. Oh, it even has the Chidu Chitu Box project. Not all. Oh. Of them. Usually, they're just the models that are supported. Okay. As part of the models, which is real massive pain in the backside. So if you're using Cheetah Box Down. and it has Cheetah Box, uh -huh. that's good. Um, that's good if this thing surprises me and this is be the first time ever that I saw a good project. Okay. Okay, so you want to do the base first or the upper body? Upper Ooh, let me guess. Upper, upper body. body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can make a base. No, it, it has a base. Yeah, but we could, you know, we could okay. put it on a different base, right? Well, I don't we know. We to put it on the base. Okay, so this sucker is in I, pieces. In my head pegs. Okay. All right. So forgive me. I am not used to using such a small, tiny little little screen. screen. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's there are problems already. How do you know there are problems? Okay. So these, these things here, there's the supports, right? That's a scaffolding. Yeah. Each one of these is... Okay, so look. Uh, oops, let's look at this one. Mm -hmm. What do you see? I see. Do you do you see anything that could be a problem just from somebody who's never done this before? Oops. Well, when it it's prints. not on the inside of the figure. Is that a problem? That is a huge problem. Okay, so it's on the exterior of the figure. So you have to move it to the inside of the figure. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, my gosh, that's just painful. What did you just do? Oh, I'm sorry. This is basically the the layout. You okay. know, you would hit this button when you're all happy and done. It would slice it and computate all the multiple layers and stuff. Okay. But this tab over here, this is where... Ah. What's the name of that tab? Uh, probably supports. I don't think it even has a name. So there's two, there's two tabs. There one's a setting thing. Right. And one's a scaffolding. Yeah, the little scaffolding. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so there, there's small and medium size supports and really big supports. What do you usually go for? Depends. There is no usual. It's it's what it needs at the time. Well, how do you know what it needs? Uh, experience. <laughs> well, how do you yeah. get these? You I, have to I walk tend, me through this. I, I tend to not, and this is, you learn by trial and error. Okay. I tend not to use 
uh, I'll use two light supports as opposed to one medium support because okay. Okay, let me they're easier to break off right they're easier to break off mm -hmm. and they're not as as aggressive okay. this uh, in terms of the point of contact that's a bad one because uh, it's going into the into outside. the edge of the outside. model outside okay so this will print like this you'll you'll have oh, that oh and then you can't get that apart without exactly. sanding it off well, you, you can't do it ah it's, okay you can't it's forever part of the model it just uh, is so so whoever, whoever whoever did this well we won't yeah obviously okay let me let me make a lot sure. of people i guess who make these ah, things oh look at look at see this a lot of them are uh connected to the exterior so Oops. what they do why, they hit. why don't they know not to do that i have no idea but look at this this one that's going to be a pretty big that's, dent on the outside oh it's, yeah, it's going to be actually a little yeah convex thing yeah and they are, and it's a huge how big is this thing oh good grief this thing they used a heavy support how do you um, know it's heavy oh i'm sorry uh because it jumped oh, over oh it jumped oh, over to the yeah, it jumped over the to square heavy. that says heavy yeah put put yeah okay okay and so oh, sorry oh, my bad. wait 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 uh, well, i accidentally what, i accidentally moved do? it i accidentally moved it okay so i would use well it depends on how wait, big wait, wait, wait. how do you select that one okay you go there are three buttons down here. This one adds support. No, no, no. But you were gonna you were gonna change this to light. The uh, one that is well, on the I was exterior, gonna make right? it go away and then add a light one to it. Okay, but, how do you choose that one to make okay. it go away? All right. There are three buttons here. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, correct? wait, wait, wait. Go slower. Okay. One. Add support A. Delete support D and edit support. So you want to delete it. Uh-huh. So, but how does it know which support it's deleting? Because I do that. Okay, I click the delete button. Okay. And now I come over here. And you, oh, okay, 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 got it, okay. Bye-bye. And then you hit delete on your keyboard. Correct. And it didn't do anything. And it didn't do it. Why didn't it do it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, plan B plan is... B. Okay, why doesn't it do it? It should delete. Okay. That's weird. What? I think it's because of the screen recording software. It's uh, keeping me from doing it. Okay. So what we're going to do, plan B here. Is remove all? We're just going to remove them all. What if it doesn't work for remove all? I guess it re removed them all. <laughs> I guess it worked on that one. <laughs> okay, so we are over here. And actually, these settings here. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the top. Here, let me, this, I'm just going to put it there. Okay. Uh, so you, you hit the button, add add support, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. See that button there? The A button. The A button, yeah. Okay, okay. So I normally I try to, ah, can't get in any closer, unfortunately. So you just, how, how? There's little guides in here. Well, that, that's not going to do it. That's on the outside. Yeah, I know. So I screwed up on that one. That looks right. Yep. And how do you, how do you know? Well, how well, do you know where to put supports? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Ish. Here, let me. Tell you, working on the small screen, I'm sorry, folks, I'm fumbling around here, but going from a 30-inch screen to a 15-inch screen is cramping my style. So you turn it upside down. Okay. And you got red. How do you turn it upside down? Oh, you just, well, I right-click here, pull it back, right-click, right-click. And pull it back. See? Okay. Okay. With the mouse. Okay. okay. With the if, mouse. You, if you get way, oh, oh my God, what do I do? Just come up here to the home button. Okay. And click the home button. Start. And it'll you... reset okay. all over again. That's good. Okay. So we will. So about how many supports do you think you need to put into this thing? Oh, that depends. So you're just kind of. Okay. Now, see, see how it's red? Yeah. Those and, are where supports need to go. Yeah, and see how that red oval is, or excuse me, black oval on the red is getting smaller and yeah. smaller and smaller. That's good. And, and smaller. 
that's how you know. That's a good place to put in support? Exactly. That's where the program is, and it's not 100%. That's where the program is telling you that it need, probably needs support here. Well, why didn't they do that when they made the model? I don't know. What they did is Is it this. just automatic? What they did, I guarantee you, they chose medium, and then they, they went... They said automatic or something. Yep, and then they hit all? this. Yeah, this is the auto support manual okay. support, and they hit all. And it did it on its own. And, yeah, and it won't remove what I did. And add what they ended up choosing. And let's see how many are on the outside. Oh, they chose far more than that. So let's let's do this. Remove all of those. Again. Wait, wait. Are any on the outside? Well, I'm sure they are. But the density that see. Oh yeah, that oh, one's ooh, that, looks that one broke it. Okay. It dug into it. Yep. Okay. See? And that one's on the outside. Yeah. But I don't know if it needs to go there or not. But all these supports are too big. Oh, there! Oh, that's a nasty looking one right there. Look at that. Oh, oh, because oh, it's okay. It's holding the edge. Okay. Yeah, but it's look at that. See how it's touching? Uh huh. Oh, I mean, get rid of this. No, it's 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 like the support has been split by the edge. Yeah, but look down here at the base. Oh, it's touching. It's colliding. The support is colliding with another piece that needs to print out. Exactly. So oh, these two it's are going to prevent it from printing. Well, it'll, it'll print. But it'll print into the support. It, it'll be part like it was designed to be part of the model. Okay. I, I'm starting to get this. Okay. Yeah. So let me let me go ahead and remove all. I guarantee you that they increase the density. So let's... Let's not do what they did, though. Oh, okay. I was just going to try to reproduce what they did to, oh, to show I, them. I believe you. I believe okay. what they did is uh -huh. an automatic, you do it, don't think for me, you okay. do it type of thing. Yeah. And, and and they didn't think it through. Right. They just hit the automatic and, and said, oh. And then they decided to exactly. know, sell it or, or yeah. it's free, so, you know. I mean, but you know what? I've seen expensive models that do the exact, exact same, same thing. Now, to this person's credit, okay, they haul, they pre-hollowed out the model, so you're going to use a lot less resin. Okay. Oh, oh. See how okay. that's hollow there? So it's that, got, a, it's got a oh, pointing my finger like you can see right in here. Uh -huh. See, that's a nice big drain hole. So you're you're just getting the exterior. Of yeah, I have no idea. I don't have a way with this. Uh, the, the free version of Cheeto Box mm -hmm. does not have the measuring tool. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to look, I don't have Lightwave on this program or on this computer. But they they, they made the walls. So anytime you see a circular thing like that. Oh, you that, see a hole in it like that, a deliberate hole. That is probably a drain hole. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to guess yes. there's more than one. There's Ah, oh, good. Now, see, it said this is good. He thought this part through because when he, you, there's a third one. He? Yeah, actually, he. You know it was a guy? I believe it was, if I remember the name right. See, look, there's multiple drain holes, and yeah. that, that's a good thing. Okay. Because when you're cleaning these group. things, you're going to want to get the inside. Could be a female. Could be. Mm -hmm. But all great. Never mind. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> so, but uh, the mm -hmm. point being, um, multiple large drain holes are good mm -hmm. because what you don't want is a bunch of liquid resin inside of a model. I knew that. Yeah. Okay. I knew that. Okay. I actually did. Oh, you did know that. Okay. Yeah, because you did it to my lion. This is true. I did. He put a hole in my lion. I didn't put a big enough hole, so I used a drill. He put... A hole in the foot, a hole the, in the other foot. Yeah, this is this is all improvised. In, I had never printed never printed anything this large before, and I never hollowed out anything before. So, I now know. You need to win. Bigger holes. Okay. Bigger is better. All right. <laughs> so yeah, that is, in a nutshell, why you don't rely. Why you learn to use. Cheeto box or while or you cheeto. do it because people don't know what it's amazing to me that they're doing all this but they don't they don't take the time to Learn. go the steps well, further. It's if you don't know what you're doing, well, even if you do know what you're doing, it's does 
you can't just hit a button and walk away. I, well, yeah. they what the thing that I guess uh, is confusing to me is they made the model. Oh yeah, they went all the trouble of making the they model. They made the model, so they must know something about how to print models. They probably there's a difference between okay, break that down. Making the model that's mm -hmm. one skill. Mm -hmm. Making a model that you can print okay. that's skill skill number two. And then after that process is done, importing it into a drastically different program, mm -hmm. a slicing program like Cheetah Box, mm -hmm. and then adding supports. Okay. That's that's a third skill set in and of itself. Not as complex as the other two. Sort of like printing the model and painting the model. Yeah. And this is it's it's all part of a process. Okay. I'll, so I'll, I'll so, see. so how bad is that? Oh okay. that's on the Effect. Wait, wait, wait. So, what? so when you put supports on, uh -huh. how do you not? I mean, you you gotta support the ear somehow, right? Uh -huh. So, where does the support go on the ear? Right. Well, you probably um, depends. Okay, let's see. Oops. There's one way to find out. See, yeah. I'm gonna guess. That doesn't look right, right? Hmm. So, do you get it? Almost touching, or do you get it? What I would do uh -huh. is find out. Okay, I'm going to leave it as is. Okay. See this little slider here? Uh -huh. This is, you can manually pull that down, uh -huh. and it will show you. That's that's how it starts out. I'm, here, let me move this up a bit. This is how it starts out on the build plate. We're actually looking at it upside down okay. as opposed to how it actually prints. Okay. So it starts here. Okay. And then yeah, I forget. Because okay. when it starts, it starts up here and then it kind of goes down like that? No, the opposite. It starts, starts down here yeah, and then you, you it got raises a, up. You have, a bat, you have a bat of okay. resin. Okay. A tub of and resin. And it starts to and then it emerge goes, from the water, so to speak, from yeah, the exactly, resin. Exactly, from the resin. Okay. Okay, so this is this is the build plate. Okay. So we're looking at it upside down, basically. Okay. Okay, so let's see if I can find a flaw. So it's building the supports. See, it's building the supports. And what I'm looking for is something called an island. An island. An island, which is, see how that blue part there? Yeah, yeah. That's that's part of the... Uh, island? No, that's part of the uh, of the model. Okay. What I don't want to see is one of those appear in this build process. That one, that one was going. Well, that's the, fine. The so first we're one. we're good so far. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna guess that there is. I could be wrong. It may surprise me. Okay. Okay. So what I'm looking for is a model part of a model that appears, initially appears, without, well, it's just so much easier on a bigger screen. See that blue thing right here? It, it's, a, it's a dark blue. Oh, uh, that blue little piece down uh, there. Right. Okay. Now, this is a visible piece of the model. The, the dark blue is not visible. That's the anterior. Okay. But this, and I can't. Uh, it's either or. Sorry, guys. So that because that is not supported, so it appeared without a support. Therefore, yeah. it will it won't print. It won't print. It just like it never happened. Okay. So. So, so any so like the, okay. So, oh, so it, it's still unsupported. It's, it's all that that you just showed just a second ago. This is not supported. See, that's right not supported. there. There's no support for that. Okay. Just, and that's called an island. Okay. And that's bad. That's the reason that after I go through and I support my models, I go through and I go through this thing layer by layer. Mm -hmm. I, we're at uh, 226. And everything you're showing me now isn't supported either. Yeah, it is. It, 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 earlier in the process, it, it was supported. No, it, no, no. It no, didn't wait, appear wait. by itself. Oh, wait. Go back. No, go back to where it first it showed you the first one. The at the very beginning down here. No, 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 no. The first little island. Oh, okay. Go back to the first island. Where that's at. You gotta get more from the top view, don't you? 
Okay. There is, right there. Okay, but turn turn it around a little more. No, turn it in the other direction. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. See? Okay, so it, it's floating alone. Yep, okay. it's an island. Okay. The islands are bad. Islands will never... I thought the the edges here oh, okay. were islands, no. too. No. Okay. No, island has... There's so no... show them where I thought... The edges, right yeah. I thought those were islands as well. No, okay, because no. It it's was, not in the inside. Uh, it's part of the um, exterior. Part of the exterior, okay. exactly. Okay. All right. So every time you see an island, you, you need to put a support into it. Exactly. But uh, these things that are jutting inside of the model. Yeah, he's, he's got a, the depth too deep, unnecessarily too deep. So you need to, to no, lower I, them. No? Uh, or you just cut them off? No, these will be on the inside of the figure. Yeah, but you have to cut them somewhere. Oh, yeah. These are, that's, the that's, that's actually a very good point. Because that is so contact deep. point is so deep into the model, you're, and because you're the support is it. oversized, these are not going to break, break easily, uh, cleanly off the model. They're going to leave it, a it, huge hole, a dimple. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, no. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna leave a bulge. No, it's on not gonna leave outside. a bulge. It's a bulge. going because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna break it here, right? Right, and then it's gonna it's gonna scar it somehow. Okay, okay, scar. Yeah, we'll call it so scar it, it's gonna scar it. It's, so you'd have to sand it's it. It's a pot mark, basically. Okay. It's just way too thick, right there. Okay. okay so we're going. What I'm. Oops. What I'm looking for is, is Grogu's ear going to fail? And his ear. it would appear not, but we're not done yet. That's a good thing, because there are no islands that you see. Yeah, no. Why, why don't you use the top view to see if there are islands? I, I can. I mean, if it makes I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, I can't see anything. Other than, yeah. And I'll look at this. From I'll different go angles. From different angles. angles. I'll repeat the, the, the manual okay. lifting okay. from different. Um, to different, make sure you didn't miss something. To make sure either. I didn't miss something. Okay. So. Yep. He got lucky. So Grogu's ear. Is supported. But it's going to have a giant zit mark, zit pock mark right in there. it. Right there. Okay. Let me show you what. So how should that look? How should, how would a good one look? I'm going to show you. Oh, he's going to show you. Oh, I just got. I don't have that. Uh, my bad. You're going to make it smaller. You're going to use no, a light I'm, one. I just select the model. So he's got that giant support. Okay. So, he doesn't need that. Okay. So you're going to do a light one. And you're going to click on the thing. Oh, you're going to put. Just as a basis of comparison. Okay. See how. I can't tell. Okay. It is smaller. Okay. All right. So you would put two there. And no, start... I wouldn't put two. I okay. would just put one. One. So I'm leaving the, the original there. For comparison. For sake. comparison's sake. Okay. Uh, the depth. But it's still going to leave a pot mark, isn't it? No, because my contact depth is uh, one-tenth of a millimeter. And what was the other one? Do you know? Uh, let's find out. So mine is one-tenth of a millimeter, and it's only uh, two-tenths of a millimeter wide. This one is... is I'm not buying that. Hang on just a second. Oops, uh -oh. my bad. Okay. So that one is contact diameter is 0.4 is four times what you just did. Yeah. Okay. And the depth is um, less less is better. Is a little bit more than than mine. So I'm questioning how deep that is. But yeah. And that, you know, that doesn't seem like a whole lot, you know, four tenths of a millimeter as opposed uh, that's to. That's what I was going to say. It doesn't seem like a, but it is. It, when you start breaking these things free, the, the support's free from the model, mm -hmm. it becomes a huge issue. Okay. Uh, there's a difference between breaking and not breaking, mm -hmm. or between leaving the mark and, and not leaving the mark. Okay. And even the, the most 
at the finest settings that, that I have, mm -hmm. there's still a little bit of sanding that needs to take place. Okay. Not okay. much. Okay. Not so, much. So maybe this is all we need to cover today. Okay. So let's summarize what I've learned anyway. Okay. Is that you you have scaffolding that you need to yeah, put support support system uh -huh. for your model to to basically grow, you know, yeah. from the ground on up, right? From the plate. Yeah, yeah. from the plate on up. And, uh -huh. and you need to make sure, hopefully, the model that you purchase also has drain holes so you're not wasting more resin. In general, too, let me see if I got this straight, that where you come, the scaffolding comes into contact with the model, the smaller the contact, the least aggressive that you can get away with, the better. And that, frankly, is going to be a trial and error learning process. But the other thing, correct me if I'm wrong, is that the the support shouldn't go deep into the model. Is that true as well? Correct. And okay. deep usually corresponds to, to making more scars. To, to, a, to the whiteness. See, so usually they're a cone shape. Mm -hmm. So if you go deep, it's going to be wide. And, so you and want where just the, the, where, where you have to break it off, it's going to be a bigger hole. Exactly. Okay. So that's the end of the lesson. And I hope it was clear as mud for you. It was, uh, it, it made sense to me. So you don't... Comments, ask questions. Yes. Because so I'm presupposing maybe too much knowledge here mm -hmm. and forgetting what it's like to start from scratch. So just say, hey, I have no idea what you well, were talking and about. And that's why I'm here because I don't know anything about this stuff. So I can generally, hopefully, ask questions that you might be asking. Yeah, uh, exactly. And uh, yeah, so... But if you put the supports on the outside and wrong places, it becomes part of the bill. Correct. And you don't, you want to minimize yeah. that as much as possible from what I'm hearing from you. Yeah, absolutely. So yes. can we go through in the next lesson where you would put the supports on this video? Yes. For the head at least. Yes, but um, I'll need to figure out a way to do it so I'm not using this laptop because this thing driving me crazy. Yeah, I know, it's a rough life. But we'll make it happen. All right. All right. Well, we hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, consider giving us a thumbs up, right, and subscribing to our channel. In the meantime, everyone, have a great day.